Welcome back to the channel. On the way to get some money. Look at the money. Uh, but yesterday video when I was going off about 45 dumbass. I was speaking my mind. I was telling the damn truth. And that's one thing I said I would bring on the channel is the truth. A lot of people didn't like it, but I don't really care. You know, a lot of people say this, a lot of people say that. Huh. I don't care. I was just telling the truth. You know. See. I can't be no house nigga and just cover this shit up. You know, or lie about it. You know. Because then, really, what would be the point of me saying it on the channel? Motherfucker be like, ain't this about a bitch? This is motherfucking lying. I can't sit up here and lie. On the channel about situations that's true. Yeah. It said that we got kids dying, but at the same time, you know, the feds coming in trying to do something, it ain't gonna happen. Well, the feds can come in, but it, it really ain't gonna solve nothing. Because, like I said, back in 2010 when I was 16, we had the National Guard here, and they didn't stop nothing. National Guard didn't even know which way to go. They using GPSs, you know. They ain't know which way to go, so it really didn't solve much or nothing. They picked up a couple people, you know. But that's really about it. It's the same thing the Fed's gonna do: pick up a couple people, but really make an impact to get these shootings down. It's not gonna happen. This problem got to be solved from within. The hood. Can't be solved by no outsider. That's how come people are steady blaming the mayor, the superintendent. I'm not even blaming them. They're not from even from the city. They don't know the roots. They don't know the core of this shit that's causing the violence. They know what's gas in it, but you know, at the same time, they really not from here, so they really can't get a handle on themselves. You know. Damn, damn truck in the way. If this motherfucker pick I had moved up some more. But you know, that that's all it really is. You, you know. It's just the truth. You know, feds coming in and it won't do nothing. You know, it won't have much of shit. And you know, people on YouTube talking about if we vote Republican, we won't have these issues. Come on now, this shit been going on in Chicago for decades. This shit been going on, what, the last time we had a Republican mayor, 1931? This shit was going on then, when Al Capone and them were running the city. So, you think voting another crooked-ass party gonna stop this shit? Nah. I you better not put out this piece of shit last year. I don't mind hitting shit. But you think voting another party, honestly speaking, I'm not finna go all into politics, but honestly speaking, in my opinion, both parties crooked as fuck. Republicans and Democrats. And they always make they back they campaign off the backs of the people, talking about, oh, we're gonna do this for the people, we're gonna do this for the working class. And honestly speaking, if you are not rich and white, they don't get no fuck about you. Like Ben Carson. In my opinion, he's just a house nigga. He got money, and they hang out with his ass, but at the end of the day, they call his ass a nigga in the tub behind his back, you know. In order for you to benefit by the government, in my opinion, you gotta be rich and you gotta be white. That's really the only way. That, that's really all the government really give a fuck about is that money. This is like when this pandemic hit. How the fuck Walmart, Costco, all these big chain stores get to stay open, but small businesses got to close? Why they can't limit the number of people they let in stores like Walmart and them? Why? Because they got that money. Same way with Family Dollar, got that money. 
these small businesses ain't had that type of money, so what? They get shut down. You know, that, that's all this shit really is. This is like with cancer. It's a cure for cancer. But you can't get it unless you got that money. You know, same way with AIDS. You see how Major Johnson got AIDS or had AIDS, and you see how he's still living a healthy ass life because he had that money. If you ain't got that money, they just gonna cheat you until you die. Cause like Lois Dad said on Family Guy back in what, 05? When Brian, I think Brian said, he said, why don't don't they just get a kill for, for uh, cancer? He said, why? He said, well, we can just treat you, bill you for the treatment until you die. Basically, that's all it really is. You can't get this shit unless you got that money. Now, if you got that money, oh, you you gonna get it all. But if you ain't got that money, you just gonna get treated to that. But anyway, you know that that's all this video we're about is like clear up of last night's video. So that's all really. I'll catch y'all next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and if you mentioned in the video, say good morning, bro.